You take on a company car like you take on a fridge. You take on a classic car like you take on a mistress. It's clueless motoring Duffer can recognise instantly. The car that more people want to buy than any other, the E-Type Jag. Everybody wanted an E-Type in 1961. Dear swinging 60s. Dear E-Type. Welcome to a special video of Raj Karaj. So, the home of cinematic car reviews. Today, we are taking a look at one of the most iconic beautiful cars ever made. And that is a Jaguar E-Type. This car is a Series 1 4.2 liter Roadster from 1966. And it is a stunning example of classic British sports car. So, the E-Type was designed by Malcolm Sayer who was an aerodynamist and a former aircraft engineer. Sayer also introduced lightweight aircraft construction methods and innovative features such as disc brakes and monocoque changes to the Jaguar cars. He designed the revolutionary D-Type Jaguar that was one of the most successful racing cars of all the time, winning Le Mans in 1955-1956 and ultimately in 1957. He applied his knowledge of aerodynamics to create a sleek and elegant shape that was inspired by the Jaguar D-Type racing car, which had won the 24 hours of Le Mans for three consecutive years in 1950s and trust me that is a very big thing. The E-Type has a long bonnet, a low and a curvy profile and a short rear end. The headlights are covered by glass covers which give the car a distinctive look. The chrome bumpers, the mesh wheels and oval grille add to the charm and character of the car and just gives you a mesmerizing effect. is powered by a 4.2 liter inline 6 cylinder that produces 265 horsepower and 283 point feet of torque. The engine is mounted in the front of driver but behind the front axle which gives the car a near perfect weight distribution. The engine has 3 SU carburetors, 2 overhead camshafts and an aluminium cylinder head. The exhaust system has 2 exit pipes, 2 tail pipes that exits from the rear of the car. The sound of the engine is smooth and throaty, just like we all love it, right? And it gets louder as we rev it up. The E-Type has 4-speed manual transmission that sends power to the rear wheels, so it's a rear wheel drive car. The gearbox has synchro mesh and all gears except for first, so which means that you have to double clutch when you downshift to first. The clutch is heavy and the gear is not cheap, but they are satisfying to use once you get used to them. The E-Type has independent suspension on all the four wheels, so it means that the car has better handling and better performance. And uh, with torsion bars at front and coil springs at the rear, it has a disc brake on all the four wheels. And also having disc brakes on four wheels were advanced for its time. The E-Type has a top speed of 150 miles per hour and that is around 240 km per hour. Just imagine guys 240 km per hour we are talking back in 1950s. And it can accelerate from standstill to 60 miles that is approximately 100 km per hour in less than 7 seconds. Just imagine from that era in 1950s 1960s the car was able to do 0 to 100 in just less than 7 seconds and that's the saying the e-type is not just a car it is a legend it is a car that has inspired generations of enthusiasts collectors and drivers it is a car that has a loyal and devoted fan base like me and you who cherish and preserve their car with pride and care so here is one of the cars owner now we did not get his permission to show his face or remember his name so we will be blurring it now here's some who might have spent a fortune on his car 
But this is, um, like, this picture's here of how it was when I bought it. Oh, oh really? I bought it in an auction. So, so it looked oh. like that. You think, well, it looks all right. But if you look underneath, Rust. you can see. Yep. And then I started taking it apart. Okay. Oh, you changed the color. Yeah, well, this is the original color. Can you yeah. see the paint? Look. Yep, it's exactly. silver. Can you see it started silver? Yeah. And then they painted it brown. And then they painted it blue, blue. on top. But look what a rubbish paint job. Mm. They did, it was yeah. such a mess. Yeah, and there inside, see. you can see all that. And so That's an then amazing... I took the body I took the body up to a specialist and they started cutting away all the oh rust. Oh my god. You see that? That's what was left. Oh. After all the rusty metal was cut away. Okay, let, let, let me ask you a question. How many bucks did you handle oh, I have no idea. A lot. So give me give me a I have rough, no idea. rough idea. I have no idea. I didn't keep a track. It spoils the fun. That's that's how we keep a classic you, vintage. No, track. I think I'm talking to a royalty right now and he doesn't know keep, what the track is. If you keep a, a list of how much you're spending, it's, you can never it's, spend. it's depressing. So the oh. trick is, <laughs> so the trick is really? don't. And so here it's been painted. You see the, the shell being painted. The engine it's completely rebuilt. The engine. Oh, wow. Back axle. Then I'm putting it back together with the engine going back in. With all the oh, electrics. Yeah, you see? There's the interior. A whole screw. So you have literally like made it uh, like, like it is, new. Yeah, exactly. It is out of the factory right now. It feels like that. So there you go. meeting you sir bye so the driving the e-type is an exhilarating and rewarding experience it is totally out of this world experience the car feels light and agile and it responds well to your inputs the steering is direct and precise and exactly you can point the car in the direction you want it to throw and it gives you all good feedback from the road the brakes are also effective thanks to the all four disc brakes and uh, but they require some force to apply them and it's a 1950s 1960s car so you can just understand the technology was not at the car handles well in corners with a minimal body roll and good grip from the tires the car is stable and composed at high speeds the jaguar e-type is a masterpiece of automotive design and engineering it is one of the most beautiful cars ever made and one of the most influential cars in history. It combines aesthetics, performance and affordability in a way that few cars can match. It is a car that appeals to both your heart and your mind. It is a car that makes you feel alive. It is a car which makes you live forever. Now at this point, I would really like to thank you all for watching this video profile of the Jaguar E-Type. If you like this video, please, please, please subscribe to our channel for more car reviews, profiles and vlogs. Till then, see you next time on Raj Garaj and always remember that life is too short to drive boring cars.